So, so this again, it's, this yeah. is a this is a really interesting looking object. I can't I can't remember seeing many like it. What is this? Do you think? So uh, this is something which was something of a discovery actually when we found it in the, the stores here. Um, it was f stored as a, a stone vessel or part of a stone vessel. Oh, right. It's made of um, calcite, alabaster. Um, it once was completely round. We've only got half of it now. And a hole straight through it. And a hole straight through it. Right, so, right okay. So hardly a, a vessel in that case. It's like not. This. Yeah, it's, it's not a vessel. It's actually... Um, we've got some fully preserved examples um, from the tomb of King Tutankhamun, actually. Oh, right, okay. It comes from a chariot... It was stuck on the harness that you would um, use to control the horses that drive the uh, yeah. chariot. Um, and to control those hor horses, you need um, leather reins. So, yes, you know, you're course. driving yeah. the yeah. chariot. And so, um, to control uh, the horses and have your uh, yoke uh, in place, your harnesses in place, you need uh, a kind of top, topping to the harness. So this That's is right. a harness finial from a chariot. Now, so this is this is part of the, the sort of chariot kit to accommodate the harness. Exactly, right. exactly. Right. So the reason it's so smooth on the side here, really nice and smooth, oh, yeah. is that that will allow the leather uh, reins right, to, to go over it without, to glide. Yeah, yeah. That's without really getting clever. caught. But um, this is um, exceptional, this piece, because it's the only one we know of that has an inscription on it. Right, really. So sure. other examples, even the one from Tut's too. Tut does not have any inscriptions. So presumably, if there's a name on this, it should be someone quite important. You'd think <laughs> so, Glenn. Do you want to say so, something about what it says? I mean, we've got the ang sign first, which is life. Mm -hmm. I mean, that must link to what's come before, but I can't quite see what that is because it's cut off. But right. fair enough. So then we've got the son of Ra. Yes. So it looks straight away like we do have an important person. Yes. Like the king yes. coming up. Not written in a cartouche, but that is a highly recognisable name. Yes, from indeed. From the 18th dynasty. That's one of our arm and hoteps. Indeed. So it's quite an exciting object, actually. Indeed. Um, then we've got Senegeth, mm. his fear. Written then, with a dead duck. Written with a dead duck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fear, written with a dead duck. is one of the nicer hieroglyphic puns. Yeah. Indeed. And then, that, well, it's cut off here, but that must be um, an M in. Yes. And then toe land. lands. So in the lands, referring to foreign lands, you reckon? Surely. If there were two lands, we'd be talking about Egypt. Right. Three lands, all sure. the other So other lands, lands, just lands. So altogether, that's the son of Ra, Armand Hotep. His fear is throughout the, the foreign lands, I guess, yeah. to paraphrase it a bit. That's nice. It'd be interesting to know what the rest of it said. <laughs> but a Wouldn't shame it's it just... not there. Yeah. How about these bits cut out? There are, there are kind of three um, parts. Are, are they also on other examples? Yeah, these, these kind of notches, this is quite interesting. If you, you, know, you pulled it, presumably to tighten the, the finial oh, once it's right. on the top of yeah, the harness, yeah, 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 sure. you, know, you don't want it flying off in the midst of yeah, battle. Yeah. Um, you, you use those notches to tighten it. But it's quite nice because you've got a beautiful object. It's lovely as, as an object. Yeah, it? yeah, very tactile. Um, but it's been, it's been kind of uh, touched up. It's been given um, a bit of uh, yeah. a practical, uh, practical yeah. attention to make it more functional, to make it more effective. Yeah. So, and it, kind of, it lends itself to that because the material that you need to do the job mm -hmm. so the, the, the gear runs smoothly is a very good looking material. Sure, stuff. yeah. So it lends itself to being polished up nicely and, uh, and, and made to look nice with yeah. instructions and stuff. Now the big question is, as you said, we, we know the name Amenhotep. Which it one, right? Four kings called Amenhotep. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, the, the, it's a chariot, so military-wise, the one that jumps to mind is Amenhotep II. Indeed. So like earlier in his reign, he had a lot of to do with the, the big enemy at the time, the Mitannians. Yep. So up in, in northern Syria, that mm -hmm. kind of area. So that's the one that kind of jumps out to me. Amenhotep III wouldn't be a complete surprise either, just no. because we see his name everywhere. I mean, a, yeah. what looks to be a relatively more peaceful reign, but still, it, it wouldn't be out of place there. So I don't know, two or three, what do you reckon? Well, we're excluding Amenhotep IV because he's not called Amenhotep for very long. Akhenaten, of course. Akhenaten, yeah, he's... Yeah. he's He's maybe not the most militaristic yeah. uh, king. Amenhotep the first, likewise, there's not much evidence. But we have a nice piece of evidence, actually, from Amenhotep the second, where he uses that phrase, Senegef Emtau. So, so we think... you're going to put your money on 
yeah. number two. Amenhotep the second. So that's nice. It works from a kind of what I know of the history and also what yeah. we know from comparisons. Yes, yeah. good. And we do have a context for this. It was found at Memphis, the capital city. Right. So this could have come from the king's own chariot. It's right. Quite exciting. Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah, yeah. Why not? That's yeah. a really nice piece. Oh, that's better. I've got to move my face out of the way. <laughs> start that again. There you go. That's nice. With the notches. But it's in reverse. This is in reverse. So this is being filmed in reverse. 